it's Elisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, I'm filming this on a Saturday at, what time is it? 9.30 in the morning. It's a beautiful sunny day and it's actually warm. It's been cold. Uh, we've had sun this, um, this past week, but it, it's still been really cold for me at least. Um, I just got back from taking the dog for a walk and I, and I was getting overheated out there. So, um, I hope this means the warm weather is coming and it's going to stay, stay around. Um, this is a new diamond painting that I got and I unboxed yesterday. I filmed the unboxing yesterday and I can't stop thinking about it. This is from Mooney Maid. Um, it's called Hang in There and the artist is cute but weird. It's a little bumblebee. Um, hanging on that flower it looks like he's sliding off and it's a snack size kit it's around 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter there are 28 diamonds in it and there is one ab at the bottom there and the ab is sprinkled throughout this whole painting and all those um i think it's pollen those little they look like um little dots throughout the painting i assume it's pollen um so that that's going to have a nice sprinkling of ABs. Um, I'm supposed to be finishing up my fairy lights painting from Diamond Art Club. <clears throat> I got, well, no, I didn't get a good session in yesterday, but I did get a section done. Um, yesterday I was quite sore and, and my, it was hard for me to hold up my neck, which makes it really hard for me to do the diamond painting. So I took it slow yesterday. Um, and then this morning, I can't stop thinking about this one. It is around. I'm finding the the fairy lights that I'm working on. The squares are the new grid, um, the new and improved canvas. But on in one way, it's good. The grid's been improved, and there's no gapping. But for me, it's making it harder for me to click the squares into place, just because I have reduced strength in my in my arm. Um, and I've been noticing the past four days that my pain is higher than it normally is, especially early into the afternoon. And it's almost been impossible to do anything um, after about 12, after about 12, 12 to 1 o'clock. So um, as I was walking the dog, I thought, well, maybe I should just kit up the snack size painting and, and start working on this one today as a break because it is a round painting. Um so it's not going to be as hard for me to place the diamonds with the squares. It's just if the grid is nice and snug, then you just have to uh, push a little bit harder to get them in. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I figured why not film um, while I'm kidding this up. And depending on how long that takes, maybe I'll uh, work on it a little bit with you guys um, here. Let me open this. Bear with the crinkle. I kind of put these in here haphazardly because I pulled some of them out in my unboxing. This sticker sheet keeps wanting to roll up on me here. You know what I did forget is my water. Hold on. Okay, I decided to actually grab a few things um, besides my water. The nice thing about this kit is they do come in baggies here. Um, it has the uh, DMC number here at the bottom. This one is 3856. These baggies are nice. You could work out of them. I'm not going to though. It's just hard for me to open these ones. Well, that one opened really easily. But I tried a, another one and it didn't. Maybe I can just work out of these. I was gonna make it difficult and put them in my own baggies. Now, I think I will well, I'm just going to put them in my own baggies because um, I've already gotten everything ready. Um, my baggies are just a little bit bigger. And initially, they were easier to open. Um, so the nice thing about her sticker sheet, this entire thing is a sticker sheet. So what I'm going to do after I'm done kidding up is I'm going to cut this picture out and put it in my paper log book, uh, probably with the start and end date and the artist info. Uh, these are uh, pre-cut stickers, so I'll take the first one off here. So you can use this one, which is an H and a 154. Or she also has just the symbol 
on this side here that you could just pick off the symbol and put them on your containers if there's like a small lid like those small round containers that's a nice option um so what i do when i'm kidding up is i use these baggies i'll link them down below um i could probably get smaller ones but these fit in the container I'm I'm working with where I put them, so I've just gone with this size. And I like how they're they're not flimsy; they feel good. Um, to open these baggies easily, you can see I take my finger and my thumb and I put it over that zipper there and just rub my fingers together. It opens it nicely. And this green stuff here off to the right is just a piece of cardstock. It's extra I had from when I used to do scrapbooking. Um, I've just cut it in smaller pieces to put it inside the baggie just because it helps them stand up. I have them in like a, a rectangle container um, that I just stand them up in, line them up in, and it just helps them stand up a bit better so that I can see this sticker. I put the sticker in the top left. That's just where my eye goes to. Um, so when I'm flipping through, I can easily see um, what symbol and what DMC the baggie is. I'm not going to do these in order because that's going to be, they're all kind of messed up now. So I'm just going to pick a baggie and then kit them up. I've also cut up some dryer sheets, actually. These don't look staticky at all, but um, just in case I have some dryer sheets here that I can put into the baggie. I leave them in for the duration of the diamond painting. You probably don't have to. I think they... Um, I find like if if I'm dealing with a really staticky kit, if what I'll do is if they're having trouble getting out of their bags that they came in, um, I will actually dip a Q-tip in rubbing alcohol, and I will swirl it around that bag before pouring it into my containers, or I guess my baggies is what I use now. I used to use containers. Um, and then I have a cut up piece of dryer sheet in the container itself. And I will, once I'm done kitting up, I usually can't diamond paint. Hopefully that mo motorcycle, you don't hear it when I edit this, but we'll see. Um, wh where was I going? That distracted me. Oh yeah. so. Once I've kit up and I've left the dryer sheet in the baggie, if I come back the next morning, the static's usually all gone. Well, there's two of this. The static's usually all gone. So I could probably take them out, but I just leave them in. I mean, I'm working at a baggie, so I'm sure that can generate some static as well. I live in a, in a neighborhood with a lot of older folks, retirees. It's kind of a suburb where people, I guess, in this city retire to. Um, some nice properties. And on sunny days, especially like the first sunny day of the season, all you hear are the motorcycles outside um, revving up. I just can't stand that noise. I don't know about you guys. It just drives me nuts. Like it doesn't, you don't need to do that. It's not good for your ears for one thing and they might be wearing earplugs or whatever the heck. Um, you have to wear on a motorcycle, but the rest of us aren't, and my ears don't need to hear that. I feel like <laughs> in my old age, I've gotten grumpy. You know, when you live with um, chronic pain, your tolerance for things is way, way down. My whole day is about making, or my whole job every day is making my day um making it through the day in the least amount of pain possible and certain things like that just aggravate me now that never used to bother me well i guess that always actually did bother me <laughs> now i'm thinking of it here's a pretty ab it's a nice yellow color AB diamonds, I'm sure everybody knows what they are. Um, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which is also known as the Northern Lights. And if you've ever seen the Northern Lights, you'll know that they glow in the sky. All sorts of colors like blue, purple, green, yellow maybe. I'm trying to think of the pictures I've seen. I actually did see the Northern Lights um, up close, like in real life. Um, one summer when I was a kid, 
my dad took me and my dog at the time camping, and we went. Um, I live in BC, and we went camping all the way up until. So you can see this one has a bit of static, so I'll throw a dryer sheet in there. Um, we drove all the way up to the Northwest Territories. Uh, none of it. But um, I think we were in the Yukon, okay, and we were camping somewhere. Um, we didn't stay in hotels. We camped the whole time. Um, well, we actually did stay twice in a hotel just to take take a bit of a break and freshen up in a in a proper shower and get a good night's sleep. Um, but I did see the northern lights and they they really were beautiful. I I kind of forget now. I know I saw them, but you know your memories fade after a while. I really wish that memory wasn't one that faded, but um, I do remember how pretty they were. I know some people that I talked to in my Facebook group um, live in Ontario. There seems to be a really big diamond painting community in Ontario and Quebec seem to be pretty popular for diamond painting, at least from the people that I've met. Um, and a lot of small shops come out of Quebec and Ontario, actually. Quite interesting. Um, but uh, one of the ladies who lives in Ontario, I think she lives in Ontario, posted a picture of the Northern Lights not too long ago, um, which is what sparked that memory. Let me know what you're doing on uh, whatever day it is that you are watching this. I'm not sure when I'm uploading it. Um, I kind of, I think I mentioned this before. Well, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but what you deal with chronic pain and illness or injury, <laughs> um, See, I lost my train of thought again. What was I go Where was I going with that? When you lose... I don't even know where I was going. It's one of those days, y'all. I feel tired. I don't feel rested. I, I finally... The time change was about a week ago. And it took me two or three nights... Three nights, actually, to get used to it. And I don't know why. Because the clocks went ahead. I I wait I tend to wake up early. I wake up um 3:30 is very common. Um but on the sun on the Saturday night, Sunday and Monday when we had the time change, I was waking up at one o'clock, one one thirty, and I don't understand why. Because that's even earlier than normal. So my body just doesn't like the time change, I guess, regardless if it's you know like it didn't have to, my body didn't have to wake up that early, you know. Especially going forward, but um, I'm just going to open the door for my dog so she can go outside. You want to go outside? It's hot. Boy, go outside. Sorry if the camera shakes there a little bit. My dog, she loves the sun. We live on a three in a three in a. Apartment building, we're on the third story, and uh, she loves sitting on the patio in the sun, and the patio actually gets quite warm, and she's always loved doing that. She used to sleep when my, I lived with my parents when I was younger. I've had her for, she's 11 now, I believe, so I've had her ever since she was four months old, um, but at my parents, they had an electric fireplace my mom always had on, and she would lie in front of it, and she'd be panting like so bad but she wouldn't move because she just likes the warmth so on a sunny day like this she she likes to go out there back and forth all day it gets it gets difficult when it gets super super hot our apartment um has um ac unit installed in the main living area which is most of our apartment is where we spend most of our time so that's nice but um when it's really hot and we have that on, she hates it because she wants to go outside. And you now we're we're keeping her inside. I always feel so guilty. But let me know what's the weather like where you are living right now. Are you still experiencing cold, or has it warmed up a bit? I think I said today's the first actual warm day. It's been sunny the last few days, but I've been still in my toques and my glove and my for fleece lined pants and, and that but today I actually went out there and I started sweating it was pretty warm so but yeah I um my body doesn't adjust to the time change well see these this bag you can see here there's static in here 
if this was like a full bag of diamonds, what I would probably do is dip my Q-tip in rubbing alcohol, swish it around in here, and then pour them in, and they'll actually come out a lot easier. If the bag is really full, you might have to swish it around twice. Like you swish it around, pour it out, and then if there's still stuff stuck inside, you swish it around again. And then you should be able to pour them all out. Because this is such a small amount of this color, I, I don't want to lose any of these diamonds. I know um, Mooney Maid sent a info paper in the diamond painting kit. A lot of helpful information, including... Um, she does have like an oops policy if you run out of diamonds or if you... Well, actually, I don't know if it's an oops policy, but um, like as in if you drop them and make a mess everywhere, if she'll replace them. That's actually a good question. I should ask her. Um, but if you run out of color, she will send them to you, extras to you. So that's really good. Um, but I live in Canada, right? And it always takes a long time to get things from the States. And I don't know about you, but when I want to be... When I'm like, I don't like waiting for special diamonds or leftover diamonds to arrive in the mail. Like, I like, I want to finish the painting. I don't want to wait, you know. So I try to conserve, conserve all the little ones that I can. These stickers are really nice. They're sticking nicely. And the diamonds look great. I, again, went over them in my unboxing video, but um, they're super shiny. I'm not seeing any tabs. I'm not seeing any like garbage pieces. You know, you might, you might be in the darker colors. I think there is some 310 in here. We'll see when we get to the 310, but, um, sometimes there's just extra bits of extra plastic in, in the bag. I call it. It's almost like dusty. Um, but I'm not seeing any of that here. So that's really nice. I actually reached out to M, um, a lot of people in the community call her M for short. Uh, she goes by Mooney Maid. That's why her company is named Mooney Maid. Uh, but um, a lot of people will just refer to her as M for short. Um, I reached out to her, letting her know I did get the kits. And she gave me, she was very kind to send me a, a white tray. Um, I had lent or given my mom my white tray from M when I set her up with diamond painting. Um, must be almost a month ago now. Um, I gave her the white one because I figured it would be easier for her to see. My eyes, they're they are not so good anymore. Uh, I think my vision is somewhat affected. Like, my eyes get very tired um, by the afternoon. Like, I start almost seeing blurry. Like, it's just my eyes, they feel dry, they feel strained, they usually sore. Um, and I find working with colored trays has been a little bit more... Di Did I put a sticker on there? What did I do? 20. Where did I put the sticker, guys? 22. Where is it? Did I put it on the green thing? Where did I put the sticker? I know I took it off. Or was this five? Yes, this is it. Woof. Oh, that's right. I must have shown this in the unboxing video and I had, must have taken that sticker off there. So if, if you do a little flub like me, um, on the first column here is number. Um, so that's the one through 28. On her little baggies that comes in, that's what this top number is. And then the DMC number is down below, which is the third column here. And then of course the symbol. So it's easy if you've made a mistake or weren't paying, wasn't paying attention to, um, figure out what you were doing. I'm very happy today because my husband is back at work. Um, he had all of last week off and let me tell you, living in a one bedroom apartment with a spouse, with no like extra separate den or extra room can get very difficult when you're both home all day long. We don't go out much. We're both introverts. We both like our home. We like staying here, order food in, watch, pay for the movies on the TV rather than going to the theater, um, that kind of stuff. So when he's on his days off, he just wants to stay home and, and make his music. He makes um, background tracks uh, for his friends' bands. And um, he spends hours a day doing that, like 10, 8. Eight or more hours some days. See, this is why I was worried about doing a kid up and chat because 
I'm going to get talking and then I'm going to forget something, which I'm starting to do. Label before I open the bag. Um, so he's in his own world over there, but um, because I've also, last week was really hard for me pain-wise and function-wise, I needed a lot more help. Um, when I need a lot more help, it can get frustrating for him, which I totally empathize with and understand. He's, he, he's amazing. I'm very lucky that he, um, I married him before I got sick. I always joke about that, but, um, you know, he very rarely complains. He very rarely is frustrated. Um, he just does what I need and doesn't, just does it, right? It's just, he has to do it. But this past week, at the end of the week, um, I could tell he was very burnt out and frustrated. Um, and every, every once in a while, like maybe a couple times a year now, I've been sick for about four years now, I think, um, 18, 19, 20, 22, oh, we're going in our fifth year. Wow. I've, I've said, see, I did it again. I've said, um, three years for the longest time. So I just assumed it was four. You lose track of time as well when you're off being sick. There's no point in me cutting. You know, counting the days. So I just, I just coast. But, um, he, he was noticeably frustrated. Um, just that, you know, I was interrupting him when he wants to play, do his music and I needed more help. And he just, he did get frustrated. But, um, we talked it out. It took like a day, a day to talk it out though. Um, I honestly really wish that he would talk to some sort of counselor. I've always told him that, uh, but he, he's not the type. He doesn't want to, um, because it is, it is difficult living with a partner who's sick, who's chronically progressively sick. It's, it, it must be very, very hard. I can only imagine if I had to work full time, take care of my uh, son, um, half the time, and take care of the animals and then your spouse like that's that's a lot to take on um so i do empathize with him it's re it's really hard for me before i was sick i i was very much like a go 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 person i i worked more than full time hours i went to the gym every day i played soccer on the side um, you know, I was very active. I could actually never sit still. Like back then, I don't think I would have ever been able to die in pain. I just, I didn't know how to sit still and just be, like I always had to be doing something, always had to be distracted. Um, I don't know where I was going with that either. <laughs> like I said, I'm tired today. I'm just listening to the birds outside now. Just crows, but they're having some sort of conversation or maybe geese. We even get seagulls around here, which is very odd because we don't live by the sea. Well, I guess we kind of live close-ish to a sea, but not close, close enough for seagulls to be over here. <laughs> Never know what they're doing here. Let me know how you guys kit up. Um, do you use containers? Do you use baggies? Do you use your own baggies or do you use whatever they come in? What system do you use? Let me know. I'm curious. I used to kit up into, well, I've tried everything. I tried those little, like, I think they come in a, a, a container with like, I think four to six little, it's all one thing and you just pop the lids open. I think that was the very first containers I ever used. And then I got one of those kits that has, you know, the colorful um, case that has the little round bottles in it. Um, and then I tried the Tic Tac ones. I didn't like the Tic Tac ones um, for sure. So I didn't have those long, but the round ones, I felt they were too small. They didn't hold enough. Like I I, if I had a really full bag, it would only hold so much, and then I'd have 
diamonds with nowhere to go. So I, I didn't like that one. Just making sure again, I picked the right bag. Um, what did I do? I think after that is when I started um, buying my Bella Art Day Nicole Tower set. I at one time had a seven, no, I think there were 68. It could have been 70 because I, I wanted a tray for every diamond, uh, every, every, um, color in a diamond art club kit because that's what mostly I do. And I, at one point, at one time, the max was like 68 colors or 67 colors that they did. Um, I feel like they've gone over that limit now. So I can't quite remember. Um, so I, yeah, I had collected over a little while, um, enough trays to kit up into them and then I had them mostly in small trays and then I had some of their largest for like the 310s or the background where there was a lot of a lot more diamonds so I used the large for that largest for that and eventually I got rid of all my small ones and then just had larges and then I added some three divider trays but I didn't actually like using the three divider because the I was just it was too, I don't know. I didn't want the colors mixing up and I felt it, felt it was hard to shake it and, and so I, I just didn't use the three divider for a three divider. I actually used it as a long tray. That's where I started putting my blacks or 939s or 5200, whatever the big background colors were. That's where I would start putting them in the, um, three divider, make it a long, take the divider. So, but anyways. And then I got rid of all of those. I destashed all the towers and all the trays. And what did I move to next? I think I moved to um, round containers that were big. I found them at Michael's actually. Um, they they would fit like a whole Diamond Art Club full baggie of diamonds plus some, I think, if I can remember correctly. Like they were big. Um, I used those for a while. I had a set of 70, I think. Again, so I had a container for every everything. But they did take up a lot of space because they were big. So I had to have, um, I actually at the time had a desk that had um, two drawers. And they actually fit perfectly in those drawers. So I used one drawer just for the containers. And then I decided I wanted to try the Harbor Freight type containers or the square containers like that. But I didn't want to buy from the States. I, you can't get them in Canada. And I didn't want to ask anybody to send me 60, a total of 60 of them. <laughs> so um, I just looked on Amazon Canada and found some square ones um, that looked similar. They don't close with the same kind of latch, but they work just fine. I still have them. Um... That's what I was using right before I started using the baggies. I liked using those Harbor Freight type containers because if a section only had a few colors, I could just pop the lid open of the container and just stick my pen right in there and get the color I needed. I didn't have to pour it all the way out in a tray just for like five spots, you know. Um, but... Again, they took up a whole drawer, the Satan drawer that the round containers took up. So um, as my condition's been worsening again, it was harder for me to manage pulling those containers out as I needed them. So I decided to start getting up into baggies. So I kind of went backwards. I think most people start in baggies because it's relatively cheaper or cheaper. But I went the other way around. I was worried at first that these pla being in plastic bags would create so much static, but it doesn't. Now, it could be because I keep a dryer sheet in, but there's a couple diamonds here that I didn't put a dryer sheet in. So I'll be able to see if if just pouring them in and out creates static. Um, it might, which is a, another good way, reason to have leave the dryer sheets in for your diamond painting session. Let me just take a sip of water again. My mouth gets so dry and I can't stand it. I always have to have water with me. Any Anytime we go anywhere, I need my water bottle. If I don't, I almost feel like panicked because I hate being thirsty. Um, 
yeah, so I think the point of all that was let me know what containers you use. What kidding app system do you use? Also, are you like a serial kidder upper? Like, do you have like, like multiple, multiple whips, like five or more whips kitted up, ready to go? Or do you do one done and penny at a time? I kind of like, I started doing this last year sometime. Um, before I took my break from diamond painting, I I liked having a round and a square kit up at the same time because that way if I was having a bad pain day, <clears throat> bad pain day, I could grab my round kit instead of fighting with a square kit or not diamond painting at all. So I, um, I, I did that. Now I'm obviously going to do it again here. I'm not done fairy lights. If I work solely on fairy lights for the next like five days, if I can manage a good session for five days, um, I think I'll be done her. I really want to do one of the Dakota painting, Dakota Dantweiler paintings next. I've got two of them. I've got the Glass Mermaid, um, which I, is up on the channel. And then I have, I recently received Self Portrait, which I filmed. I just haven't. As of filming of this whip and chat, I haven't posted self-portrait yet. Um, but uh, when I open self-portrait, I just my jaw dropped. It's just something about it. Just, just I love it. I think it reminds me of my the good parts of my childhood. You know, being lost in books and the choose your own adventure books, which I used to love reading. Those were kind of the only books that I actually read all the way through as a child. I didn't have an attention span to read. I just, my mind was always going. Um, yeah, so I don't know which one I'm going to do next. I wanted to, to do it after fairy light. So I'm going to do this one today, at least for the morning. Um, once I'm done kidding up here, I'm going to move over to my area and um, start diamond painting see how much I can get done. It is a lot of color blocking, like this whole sky is color blocking, which I'm here for, I'm really happy for. Confetti, I just I just don't enjoy it. One, I don't really enjoy single placing, especially an entire canvas. And um, I hate, you know, pouring diamonds in and out of my tray so much. I like, I like the progress of having, um, a large area of color blocking too. Like I've said before, um, my time I spend diamond painting needs to be in the most efficient way possible uh, so that I can diamond paint. Otherwise, I might only tolerate like 10 minutes or so. So there's a strategy for me to be able to diamond paint still. What did I do with that sticker? Did I not take it off? I thought I did. I'm telling my voice, I'm getting tired now. Um, kidding up is really hard for me um, because of my arms. I kid up on the coffee table though so that I can sit down and my arms, especially my left arm, is fully supported on the table. I'm not, there's no effort being used to lift it up. And even so, it's so heavy right now and I can just feel the pain coming. Whoops. I just flick those everywhere. Pick those up. Looks like two more colors, but there's a sticker. I have an extra sticker. Why? Oh, because of that. I thought there was more 310 than that. Whoops. My bad. And again, I didn't grab this sticker. This one. Five. This is one thing I might recommend to Mooney but I, I don't know if it really matters because the way her stickers are um, like you know when this is number five but the symbol is a three or this is number seven and the symbol is a four I don't think it matters because when I peel these stickers off like I'm not looking at the number you don't have to look at the number once you cut up that number you cross it out um, even on like other canvases like Diamond Art Club you don't need that number anymore and that's what trips people out so I know they started um, make, making sure that like number one to whatever was the symbol matched. Like one was one, two was two. 
So that might be some feedback, but again, I, I don't think it matters in her kits because the serial num the number is left on here and you have the symbol in the DMC. So I also got, um, deity of, deity of, what's the name of it? The other one. I have deity of forgotten in my mind because I'm waiting for that kit to come. Um, what was the, <laughs> what's the other one I unboxed? It's in the other room. The other deity one that Moony Maid has with the, the mermaid in the sky with the rainbow in the clouds. I don't know why Deity of Love is coming to mind. And no, that's not the name of it, but that's what's coming to mind. I'll post it up on the screen here, <laughs> what it's called. But I have that one in the unboxing video as well. I will link the unboxing video to the Money Made Kits at the end of this video. So make sure you stay um, to the end. That way you can just click the video and it'll go right to it. But I did look at that rendering a little more closer this morning, and, and that rendering on that one is really nice, too, in terms of I'm not seeing any unnecessary confetti. That's that's the part that drives me nuts. I'm not a confetti person, for one, and what bothers me even more is when it's unnecessary. Um, I'll actually, like, alter the, the kits. Um, like, if they have... Um, See if I can see something kind of close to what I'm... Now, you see, you can see these two blues are a different shade. Um, something that, that I notice in other kits... I'm not noticing it here because it's been charted well. Like, these are all different shades which you need for... Um, um, which you need for blending. I'm not noticing it here. But in, in, a, in a kit from another shop I've done... There were colors that the shade, you couldn't tell the shade apart. And I didn't understand why you had to have so many of the same color. Like, honest, you couldn't tell the shades apart. So instead of putting them both down on the canvas, I just used the one and swapped the symbols out. Um, that's something that I find annoying. Also unnecessary confetti, like random colors in one section of the canvas where it really shouldn't be, it, where it's like only five colors. Like, really? You could have, I think you could have, like, uh, made it all the same color. Um, so that's something I dislike, and I don't see that in a Mooney Maze kit. So I'm really excited to start working on this one to get a sense of um, how the diamonds go down. And then the other one I'm, I have, I still can't think of the name of it. Um, the artist is Femke Dor Deborah of those ones. Um, the artist of this cute one is Cute But Weird, which is a, a, a good name. <laughs> um, this one's got a bit more static, but I'm too lazy to get up and get a Q-tip with rubbing alcohol, especially because th there's not many of each color, so, and there's only 28 colors, so. And there's only been a couple bags that had kind of a lot of static where I'm having trouble getting the diamonds out. But that's just the nature of diamonds. It has nothing to do with um, this kit. It's You get static everywhere. There's lots of tips everywhere to um, deal with it too. And depending on the climate you live in, some my tips that I share with you might not work. Um, but you might have something else you do that you find helpful. Uh, let me put the last number on this bag. All done kidding up. So what I'm going to do is cut this picture out, put that in my logbook, and then discard the rest of this. I'm going to put these in the container I use and have them all lined up. And then I'm going to section this guy off using my release paper method. So I think that's it for this whip and chat. Um, my mind is kind of going mushy, so I think I'm just going to listen to the birds outside and diamond paint, get some, get some good progress done on this little guy so I can share it with you next time. I did want to work on them because um, on first look, like online, it looked like her rendering style was nice. I like some of the art that she had, um, specifically this painting and Femke Deborah's art. Um, I thought both images that she has of her right now on the site are beautiful, and they actually are the ones uh, I checked this morning, and they're still sold out. 
I forgot to check this one if there was an if if he was still in stock. I'll put it in the description of the video if he's still in stock. Um, so yeah, I think I will wrap it up here. Uh, let me know. Do you have a Mooney made diamond painting in your stash or uh, do you have one that you started or even finished? Um, I'm curious what images you chose from her shop and what you thought about her kits. Um, look forward to hearing about that. Otherwise, I am very, very grateful. That thing I forgot to say at the beginning was I'm super, super grateful that each day I'm, I'm gaining some more followers over on YouTube. Um, it, it makes you feel good, you know, that your content is helpful and there's people enjoying it. So I always thought that I would, wouldn't do a good job and that's why I never did it. Um, so it's, it's lifting my spirits a little bit knowing at least some people are enjoying the content. So, um, I, I did decide for my next giveaway on the channel when I hit 250 subscribers, I'll do another $25 licensed, um, gift card, sorry, to any licensed diamond painting shop of your choice, provided that they do offer gift cards. So, um, that, that will be coming probably in the next couple of weeks. I got about I don't know, maybe 45 subscribers to go before the, I do that giveaway. So stay tuned for that um, when I reach that milestone. Otherwise, I will let you all go. I hope you enjoy your day or your night. And uh, until next time, happy diamond painting and see you later. <music>